Greetings! Welcome to Saint of the Week, the show where we choose one saint's feast day from this week and discuss their life and their impact on the church. The saint for this week is Saint Barnabas, whose feast day is June 11th, this Tuesday. Nothing is known about Barnabas' background other than that he was born on the Middle Eastern island of Cyprus. A descendant of Levi, he was a member of the early Christian community in Jerusalem in the years following Jesus' death, resurrection, and ascension. He was evidently a charitable man, as he sold some of his own land and gave the proceeds to the community. Barnabas was sent by the apostles to Antioch to oversee the preaching of Christianity to the Gentiles. This was a difficult task, however, and so Barnabas traveled to Tarsus to seek the help of Paul, then still called Saul. The two worked in Antioch for a year, and then returned to Jerusalem with contributions to help the poor Christians of Judea. Afterwards, Barnabas and Paul returned to Antioch, this time taking John Mark with them, who was believed to be either a nephew or cousin of Barnabas. Three of them traveled to several different areas of Asia Minor, including Pamphylia, Pisidia, and Lyconia, preaching and spreading the gospel. Both Barnabas and Paul participated in the Council of Jerusalem, which took place around the year 50. The council took place to determine the role of Gentiles within Christianity, an issue of very large controversy at the time. Barnabas sided with Paul in his belief that Gentiles should be allowed to become Christians without being circumcised. Some of the Jewish Christians were upset by Peter intermingling with Gentile Christians and criticized his actions. Peter eventually submitted to their wishes and Barnabas followed his example, an action which Paul called both of them out on. Barnabas repented of his mistake, but he and Paul no longer worked together. He continued to work in Antioch, the city where followers of Jesus were first called Christians. He is not mentioned again in the Bible, so the details of his death are uncertain, but Catholic tradition holds that he was tortured and stoned to death by a group of Jews around the year 61. He is the patron saint of Cyprus. Barnabas was one of the many heroic men who helped to guide the church in its most early days, even though it required hard work and sacrifice. It is true that we don't have much information about his life, but the Bible tells us that he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And that is truly all we need to know. St. Barnabas, pray for us. Our honorable mentions for this week are Saints Primus and Felician, Blessed Diana, Amata, and Cecilia, St. Peter of Mount Athos, St. Augustine of Huy, St. Methodius I, and St. Edburga of Winchester. And of course, there are thousands of other saints who undoubtedly have their feast days this week, but there are so many of them that there is no way we can list them all here. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Saint of the Week. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Peace be to you.